pond snail is a kind of shell which lives in a rice field or a pond. And I must tell you of the girl who came from the pond snail. The pond snail girl. Once upon a time, there lived a kind-hearted farmer in a village. He was an older man, but he was not yet married. One day, he was working in his rice field and talking to himself. Oh, I harvest this rice, but I have nobody to share this with. You can share your harvest with me. The farmer was startled and looked around. But there was nobody around, except one pond snail. That's strange. The pond snail could not have said that. The farmer took the pond snail home and put it in a pot of water. The next day, the farmer returned home from his rice field and was very surprised. There was a nice dinner ready on the table. Hmm? Who on earth made my dinner? The hungry farmer ate his delicious dinner. The dinner table was ready the next day and the day after that. The farmer was very curious as to who made the dinner every day. So, one day, he pretended to go out to work and then hid in the kitchen. Oh my! Oh my goodness! Then, smoke came out of the water pot and the pond snail turned into a beautiful girl. The farmer quickly jumped toward the pond snail girl and held her hands tightly. Please be my, my bride. The pond snail girl nodded with a shy look. The farmer married the pond snail girl and was very happy. One day, the king was out hunting and saw the pond snail girl. The king was very jealous of the farmer's wife. So, the king called the farmer and said to him, Let's make a bet. Whoever plants the largest amount of trees first wins the bet. If you win, I'll give you half of this country. If I win, you must give me your wife. The farmer worried a lot about the bet and gave a deep sigh. Then, the pond snail girl gently smiled, took a ring off her finger, and gave it to him. I'm the daughter of Yong Wang, the dragon god of the sea. I was punished and was turned into a pond snail. But I became human again thanks to you. Don't worry about the bet too much. Go to the seashore and throw this ring into the sea. The farmer went to the seashore and threw the ring into the sea, as the pond snail girl had told him to do. Guess what happened? The sea divided into two parts. Oh, good heavens! That's the Dragon God's palace! After a little while, a turtle came from the sea, bowed to the farmer, and said, Please, follow me. The farmer followed the turtle and met the Dragon God in the palace. When you are in trouble, Open this button. 
Thank you very much. The farmer returned home with the Dragon God's bottle. The day for the king's challenge came. The king showed up with his soldiers. As soon as the race started, all the soldiers began to plant the trees. Whew! How can I beat all those soldiers by myself? With this pace, I may lose the bet. Right then, the farmer remembered the bottle from the dragon god. He opened the bottle, and a countless number of thumb-sized workers started to come out of the bottle. What? What happened? The workers made a great effort to plant all the trees. Heave ho! Heave ho! In no time, the hill was covered with trees, and the farmer won the bet. Now, the angry king wanted to have another bet. This time, whoever gets to the island by ship first wins the bet. The farmer rowed his small boat very hard, but he couldn't catch up with the king's big ship. The farmer then opened the dragon god's bottle again, and a gigantic wave arose and destroyed the king's ship. Oh no! The king's ship! The king was swept away with his ship and never returned. The people of the country asked the farmer to become the king. The farmer became the king, and the pond snail girl became the queen. And they lived happily forever. The pond snail became a human thanks to the farmer. And the farmer got a beautiful bride and became the king thanks to the pond snail. It was a very 